Is it time to sell booze at the zoo? The Memphis Zoo thinks so. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Now, to make the change, state lawmakers would have to give their okay. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder is live at the Memphis Zoo after hearing from critics and supporters of the idea. Hi, Brad. How you doing, Katina and Richard? Memphis Zoo leaders here said they're supportive of the alcohol sales and said it can help them with exhibits and other key monetary investments here. While some visitors also support the idea, others argue that it's not necessary and worried how alcohol sales could affect the zoo's family-friendly atmosphere. We come at least... Uh, during the summer once a week. The Memphis Zoo brings joy to Sherry McGee and her seven grandchildren, but she doesn't like the idea to add daytime alcohol and beer sales here. I think it's doing great without it um, for the families. Today, State Senator Brian Kelsey introduced legislation to allow beer and alcohol sales at the Memphis Zoo during daytime hours. Right now, it's only allowed during the zoo's nighttime fundraisers and special events. I don't think we're going to see any problems that come from it. I think people will participate responsibly and uh, and have a good time and bring in a little a bit of extra cash for the zoo to help improve its success. And that's why Memphis Zoo leaders also support the proposal. We're not pioneers in, in bringing alcohol to a family-friendly uh, atmosphere, so it's going to be served responsibly. Today, other Memphis Zoo visitors offered a mixed reaction. It's definitely something that needs lots of time and consideration to talk through and pros and cons of it, you know. You don't want it to turn into a bar, but yeah, people drink and and still behave themselves. So yeah, go for it. Now, the Tennessee legislature gathers next month, and Senator Brian Kelsey said he's hopeful this proposal will pass and be signed into law by Governor Bill Lee as early as next spring. Also in the past year, state lawmakers have also passed the allowing of alcohol sales at both the Knoxville and Nashville Zoo. Reporting live at the Memphis Zoo, Brad Broder's Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. And as you can imagine, the story getting a lot of attention on social media. Lynn Blake says there is nothing wrong with having a glass of wine or a beer with a nice lunch at the zoo. I highly doubt people are going to flock to the zoo to get drunk. But Jackie Stewart disagrees. She says the potential for idiocy is high when folks are stone cold sober. I don't even want to think about drunk nut jobs at the zoo.